Hello, um, this will be a demonstration of administration of parenteral medications. Um, it will include intramuscular, subcutaneous, and intradermal. This will be a two-part series. The first is will be preparation of the medications, and the second part will be administration of the medications. So I have come to my, heart, my cart, and my hands are clean, um, because our cart is always considered clean. to be administering to Miss Florence Nightingale again, and I will be administering the 5 o'clock parenteral medications. And again, if when I glance at these, when I glance down at my medications, if I see one that I have a question about, I will go directly back to the physician's order to check that. So I would lock my cart. For the purposes of this demonstration, I have my physician's orders right here. So I'm going to be checking the um, multiple strength powder because I have a question about the transcription of that medication. So I come to Miss Nightingale's record, and I have Miss Nightingale's record and her MAR, and I'm checking about the allergies, and she has no known allergies still. Uh, multiple strength powder is on my physician's order. It was ordered on the 5th of May. She's been taking this for quite a while, since 2011. And I'm going to check the order, demo dose, multiple strength powder, 0 0.6 mils, intramuscularly every day. And this order is signed by L. Doctor, MD. So it appears that this is correct. So um, I have either checked on my electronic system with the physician's order, or gone to the nurse's station and, um, and checked chart there. So now that I know that this indeed is correct, I will come back to my cart, which has been locked, and um, re-sanitize my hands for um, at least 15 seconds. And now we will prepare these medications. I will be doing two checks here at the cart, and I'll be do checking my five rights. The documentation I will do at the bedside, and that would be my sixth right. So my first five o'clock medication is regular insulin, and so I will bring that out. Demo dose regular insulin, four units, sub Q before breakfast and supper at 5 p.m. for Florence Nightingale, and the expiration date is 2015. My next is NPH insulin. Demotose MPs insulin, three units, sub Q before breakfast and supper, 5 p.m., expiration date 2016. Systematically, I come to the next one, which is the mini vial. Demotose mini vial, 0 0.1 mils intradermal every year at 5 p.m. for Florence Nightingale. The expiration date is 2014. My next uh, parenteral injection is multi-strength powder, demo dose, multi-strength powder, 0 0.6 mils intramuscularly every day at 5 p.m. for Florence Nightingale. And that is my last 5 o'clock medication. That was my first check. Now on my second check, I will be preparing the injections. <coughs> So my first injection systematically is regular insulin. I have demo dose regular insulin, four units, sub Q before breakfast and supper, 5 p.m. for Florence Nightingale, and the expiration date is 2015. And because I know I can mix regular and NPH insulin, I'm going to check them both. Uh, demo dose NPH insulin, three units before breakfast and supper. 5 p.m. for Florence Nightingale, uh, June 2016 is the expiration date. So I'm going to need an insulin syringe in order to administer this. And um, if I add the, the um, a 
amount of air to inject. It's four units for the regular insulin, three units for the NPH insulin, for a total of seven units. So I will swap on top of these. Oops, wrong one. Oh, this is not good. Regular and NPH insulin. I can mark this with a marker right on the um, syringe itself. If I'm just giving one insulin injection to one patient, do I have a need to mark it? No. Um, but if you if, uh, think that you're going to have any confusion about um, the medications themselves, you're going to put your patient's initials. You're going to mark it so that you can recognize who it's for. So I'm going to put Florence Nightingale initials and my insulin on. And I'm going to put um, four units of regular and three units of NPH. That's why I can do my third check at the bedside. Okay, so I've got my insulins ready, and now I will have my mini vial, my third, second check, done my dose mini vial, 0 0.1 mils, antidermal every year, 5 p.m. I have such a tiny amount that I'm giving the 0.1 mils, I'm going to be using a 1 mil syringe. And this, these are frequently labeled as um, tuberculin syringes, uh, 0.1 mils of air. Needle down in the neck of the bottle. Now, I've been having some trouble with these because this has the safety device on it. When you pull it up, it clicks, but it's really difficult, so I'm choosing to use a different 3 mil syringe. And then I'm going to put in 0.6 mils of air. Hurt, get my needle down in the neck of the bottle. It 
it's already coming back to my hair and then um, I have some little teeny bubbles but they're not going to displace my medication When you're checking your medications initially, when you bring a medication out, for example, and check regular insulin or whether it's one of your tablets, I'd like you to add another step. So when we check Demodose regular insulin for you in a sub-QB for breakfast and supper at 5 p.m., then I'm going to go over to the date that I'm giving it, and today is the 10th, and I'm going to consistently look over there and say it has not been given yet and then come down to my patient's name. Does that make sense? So let me actually demonstrate with the medication here for you because we have found occasionally that that has, um, the medication maybe has already been given. So you're giving yourself, we're actually putting an extra step in there for you. So I'm gonna do one with an oral medication and I'm gonna do one with a um, parental medication. So. I've checked down to here. Here's my Demodose multi-strength powder, 6.6 mils intramuscularly every day at 5 p.m. It has not been given yet for Florence Nightingale. Expiration date 2020. And let me demonstrate one oral medication for you also. Demodose Cardi, 120 milligrams by mouth, three times per day at 8 a.m. I come over to the 10th that has not been given yet for Florence Nightingale. 